paying four dollars for five liters was like very crazy expensive. Good morning! Good morning world! How are you guys doing? Ooh, the jet lag is killing me, yeah. It's been uh, a day since we arrived from Costa Rica and the jet lag is really killing me. I need to like change my clothes first and then let's continue with the video. Okay, now it's better, yeah. I'm with my clothes, I wash my, my face and now I'm ready for the day. So, yeah, today I wanted to do a special video because as we just arrived from Costa Rica, I wanted to point some of the stuff that I didn't really get. So yeah, I wrote some notes when I was coming on the plane of some of the things of Costa Rica which I don't really understand and I have some questions for you guys. So. If you are from Costa Rica or you know someone from Costa Rica, share this video and hopefully we can find out answers to my questions. I'm gonna move to the office and I will talk with you. Okay, so the things that I wanna talk about Costa Rica which I don't understand and maybe you guys have some ideas why this is happening. The first one is Yes, the breakfast. And as, as you guys seen in the previous vlogs, I was showing at the beginning, I was showing the breakfast that we were eating each day, but I had to stop doing it because all the single days, the same breakfast we were eating. Yes, we were eating gallo pinto every day, every single day, gallo pinto, the same dish every single day. And oh my God, I was so bored of eating the same. And I went, we went actually to ask to one of our guides if they eat the same every day. And guess what? Yes, they eat the same. Oh my God, the gallo pinto. Why do you guys eat always the same? I don't know. I want to know why, 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 why do you guys eat the same every day? I mean, there's no variety. There's no variety at all. Wherever you go, they always eat gallo pinto for breakfast. So this is my question. Why you don't guys have so well, I mean, more variety for breakfast. I'm bored of eating the same all day. My next question is about the money. Yeah, because as you guys seen, we paid a lot for everything. I mean, the prices there are even more expensive than here in Spain, where they are not really cheap, so they are already expensive. And me and Andrea were, were, were wondering all the time what do they do with the money? Why? Because, yeah, we were paying quite uh, more than here, but the quality of life, as we've seen from here, from, from being Spain, from Spain, we've seen that the quality of life is not so good. So, honestly, I don't really understand what they do with the money. Do they pay, I mean, do they pay a lot of taxes and do they pay a lot of money in Costa Rica's government, so, so to Costa Rica's government, or what do they really do with the money? Because they are just like, I don't know, they don't have like a lot of luxuries and the infrastructures there are not very good. So I'm wondering, hey, Costa Ricans, what do you do with the money? Yes, I want to talk about the fences because I haven't even really show them in the vlog. But whenever you go to the city, to any of the big cities that there are in Costa Rica, there are a lot of fences outside of the houses. They have like a lot of security, but, but the thing is that whenever you ask someone from there, is this area safe? In the big cities, they normally say, yeah, yeah it's safe. You can go and walk around here and it's safe and nothing will happen. So I wonder why do they have these uh, fences everywhere? The houses there have a lot of fences and security. They even have like electrical lines on top of the fences. So for me, that was really weird. We've never seen 
this kind of security ever in our travels. But it is also true that we are really used to traveling in Asia, so that may be the difference. So far, for us, it was really, really strange. Although being a tropical country and having a lot of fruits and especially a lot of fruits that I haven't tried in my life, they don't have fruits on the supermarket. Well, let me correct that point. It's not that they don't have fruits in the supermarket, they have, but they have like not a lot of variety. They have like bananas, pineapples, some apples, papaya, but that's really it. They don't have a lot of different fruits. like. You saw in some of the blogs, I was trying to search for some kind of fruits like the star fruit or the wa, wa yavana, the cash, and so on. It was really, really hard for me to find those fruits. So I don't really understand that. And another point is that the fruit there was somehow expensive. So I don't really, I didn't really get that point and I'm wondering why there aren't so many fruits available on the supermarket and why they are so expensive. I mean, if there are so many fruits, like for example, the maracuya, I asked a lot of guides and they said, oh, well, yeah, we have a lot of maracuyas uh, in Costa Rica, but then you go to the supermarket and there are maracuyas. So I'm wondering why guys, why do you have this behavior. You don't, you don't eat fruits in Costa Rica, it's not like common. Here in Spain we eat a lot of fruits, so you can go to the grocery store and you find a lot of different varieties of food, but uh, not food, fruit, but fruit typical from here, from Spain, not like this kind of exotic fruits. Okay. At the beginning of a journey in Costa Rica, uh, we read that you can drink the water from the tap. Okay, so the tap water, it's drinkable. That's right, that's perfect. And in Spain, you can actually also drink it, but depending on the area where you live, it's not really, really recommendable. I mean, nothing bad can happen to your health, to your health, but they don't really recommend to drink the water in some areas of Spain. So when we went to Costa Rica, we were, oh, nice, we can drink water here from the tap. The thing is that when we started going to the hotels, some of the hotels were telling us that it was better if we bought water. Not only that, but as we were doing like uh, hiking and excursions, sometimes we found out that we had to buy water, drinkable water. All right, so here came the problems. First problem, it's not so easy to find like big bottles of water. I mean, I went or we went to a big shopping center, like big supermarket, and they had just in a tiny little corner, they had like two big water bottles. So that's not like very common. I mean, if you go to a supermarket here in Spain, you will find dozens of big bottles of water, big, small, medium, whatever. And there, they didn't have a lot of water, but that's not the, I mean, that's not a big problem if they have, it's okay. The problem is with the price, yeah, because for a five liters, like, uh, water tank, we paid like four dollars, and honestly talking, for me, four dollars for water is very, very expensive. Here in Spain, you can buy a, a tank of eight liters of water for less than a dollar. Paying four dollars for five liters, was like very crazy expensive and i wonder how do you guys do it do you drink like uh, tap water all the time or do you also buy water and we miss something there in costa rica that's another question for you so with that being said i think it's time now to end this vlog yeah because i have i had so many questions for you guys that i would like to know the answers so do me a favor Try to answer some of them and if you don't know or you are not from Costa Rica, go ahead and share this video so others can help me with that thing and come back again in a few days or months to get the answers to all my questions of Costa Rica. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy it and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.